on my bench I have a dead CFL bulb and one of my viewers was pointing to a website where they basically bypassed an open filament when one heater was open and the other wasn't and they put a little one ohm resistor across the pins inside and basically turned it into a single a cold cathode on one side lamp and I just wanted to see whether this actually would work because in theory it should if you look at a lot of um, ballast used by a lot of the uh, fixture designs you'll find that they only actually have the heater hot on one side and the other side is uh, the, the filaments are connected in parallel like the, the pins are connected in parallel so let's see if that theory will work to restore a dead bulb we're just going to pry the, the bulb open here and we can access the little circuit board here and we'll just do a quick measurement and see which one is open so a quick test shows that this side is good measuring 3 ohms and this side is indeed open so this is the side and we can tell because this is the side that's actually burned the blackest this is the side that the wires are open now according to this website it says what you do is you cut the wires and you twist the two wires together so they form a common connection and now we're going to put a 1 ohm resistor between the two remaining wires that completes the circuit as far as the, the ballast is concerned and connect one side of that resistor up to our existing cathode which has the open filament and according to this website this will make this lamp functional again how long it will remain functional that remains to see but we'll try it and see what happens so I'm just going to get a 1 ohm resistor we're going to put it across the circuit here and connect it up so what I've done is I've just soldered a new resistor I just put a 4.7 ohm resistor in where the in series with where the filament used to be and I'm going to reconnect the new two joined filaments together We'll just solder those ones back together here and see whether this lamp will light. So we've now reconnected and we'll just push the bulb back together and see if we can snap it in and whether this thing will actually light up. The moment of truth. Does it or doesn't it work? Well, it sort of works it's flickering now whether this is going to come up to full brightness oh they're starting to catch hey look at that it works if you want to wait 20 seconds for your lamp to light up then hey maybe that might that might save you two dollars but uh, I wouldn't uh, go on and say that this is actually a uh, a really good way to repair it and as you can see this light here is having trouble now that might be because I went with a 4.7 ohm resistor as I didn't have uh, a 1 ohm resistor but this was just in the name of science will it light or won't it light yes it will and uh, now we're only working off of one heater and the other one is uh, open so if you've got if one filament is open on your uh, compact fluorescent bulb by putting a resistor across the open heater you're in effect completing the circuit for the series residence circuit for the uh, a ballast to operate and uh, it, will allow, it will allow the ballast to function and as you can see the lamp is now working now I wouldn't say this is a good way to do things if you're that cheap or if you just like to experiment then knock yourself out but uh, for what a CFL bulb costs these days I think you can buy them for about uh, two dollars a piece if that so uh, I wouldn't go about recommending doing this in my original CFL bulb fix the only reason I did that one was because that one was a brand new bulb out of the package that failed and I wanted to see what was wrong with it 
And that bulb, incidentally, is in my garage door opener, and it's been there since the day that I repaired it, and it hasn't failed yet. But there you go. There's a way to fix a CFL bulb that has uh, gone open on one filament. Now, I do happen to have a decorator bulb sitting here that uh, has failed in exactly the same way. And for this decorator bulb, these ones are a little more expensive. I might just try that on this one and see if I could resurrect this one because this one I put out at, at Christmas time for decoration. So maybe I'll try it on that one and see if I can get that bulb going. So on this case, this lamp, the, the tube itself is okay. It's the ballast that's bad. And I believe the problem with this ballast is this capacitor here is kind of buggered up. It's all burnt down the side. So I think this cap shorted out on this little ballast. So, I have another ballast here, which is a, a similar design. I'm just going to swap the tube from this burned out ballast and put it on this good ballast. And that will get me a functional blue light, at least it should. They're both the same wattage, so there shouldn't be a problem uh, just swapping the lamp over. So we just need to solder the wires back down to where the originals came from. The Sylvania lamps, the, the wires were soldered directly down on the Phillips lamp. They actually have um, little wire wound posts and they twist the wires on. So I had to tin the, tin the ends of the wires here just so they would accept solder readily because they've never been soldered before. So we attach our four wires to the inverter output. should be able to put the inverter board back into its case. I don't know if this is going to snap in exactly or whether I'm going to have to glue it in place, but it might. Looks like it's going to fit. If not, it's going to be pretty darn close. There we go. Let's, let's try this light and see if this one works. To the moment of truth. Hey! Now I got my blue light working again. It was the, uh, the ballast had failed. That's a more useful approach to what to do with uh, compact fluorescent bulbs when they die is uh, you can recycle. Uh, so, you know, sometimes the ballast goes, sometimes the tube goes. In this case, it was the ballast that went. So when I have a tube that the, uh, that the uh, or one that the tube fails on, I usually do hang on to the inverter because the inverters go and see, usually you can just swap them over like this. Now for the $2 bulbs, I wouldn't waste my time doing it, but uh, when you get these colored ones, uh, like the party lights and the, the festival lights, these ones here are around six, seven dollars a bulb. So this bulb's it's only used at you know Christmas time. It's used for like two weeks of the year. So I feel kind of ripped off that after two years the thing wouldn't work. Probably because it's outside and moisture got to it, but now it can go outside for another year.